No, well, we just heard uh, a statement by the Secretary General about uh, Kofi Annan's decision to step down uh, as of uh, August 31. Uh, we understand that it's his decision. Uh, we uh, regret that he chose to do so. Uh, we uh, have supported very strongly Kofi Annan's efforts. Uh, he has another month to go, and I hope that this month uh, is going to be used as effectively as uh, possible under these very difficult circumstances in order to keep pursuing the goal of a political uh, settlement in, in Syria and stopping the bloodshed in that country. And uh, uh, I'm very encouraged that the Secretary General is already working on finding uh, a successor for Kofi Annan who would be able to uh, pick up uh, this daunting task of uh, putting an end to the crisis in Syria. Well, you know, I've, uh, I have regrets uh, that uh, some council members chose to push their agenda, to try to push their agenda through the council, and uh, when those efforts uh, were made, uh, they didn't work. In a situation when uh, uh, reasonable and balanced proposals were put on the table of the council, uh, they were approved by the council, uh, and uh, I can cite uh, the fundamental uh, presidential statement of August 3 of last year, uh, resolution, uh, resolutions 2042 and 2043 for the deployment of ANSMIS, and the latest resolution 2059. Uh, so I think that uh, the council members, when, uh, when solid proposals were on the table, uh, were able to uh, act uh, in support of those proposals. How do you feel that uh, so many or hundreds of fighters are coming across the border from Turkey and Turkey well, is carrying out exercises across the border? Unfortunately, I think one of the reasons uh, that uh, Ms. Tannan's efforts uh, have encountered so many difficulties is that uh, uh, his appeal for no further militarization of the conflict, uh, which he uh, started out with as he uh, came in first here to New York, was not really heeded by uh, a number of influential members of the international community. So we have uh, a rather strange situation uh, when some countries who are uh, like uh, uh, talking, uh, expressing their regret about uh, violence uh, in, in Syria are at the same time those countries who are providing weapons uh, uh, almost openly uh, to the armed opposition groups. We are going to uh, be voting on the resolution of the General Assembly tomorrow, which is extremely uh, uh, unbalanced and one-sided resolution, and those same countries uh, who were pushing this resolution most actively are the countries who are providing weapons to the armed opposition groups. This is unfortunately the tragedy of the matter and something which uh, made Kofi Annan's uh, efforts uh, uh, so difficult. On the resolution, some were saying that I think it's paragraph 20 that says he should, quote, focus his work, was kind of an implicit criticism well, there, of Mr. There are, there are a number of, uh, well, uh, it's not, I don't, I, I don't see it as an implicit criticism of Kofi Annan. I see it as an effort to redraft the mandate of the special envoy. Uh, and uh, this is something we, uh, we cannot uh, uh, prove or cannot support, because the mandate is to uh, end violence and to uh, establish dialogue uh, in, uh, in Syria. This mandate was also reflected in the uh, action group uh, uh, document of uh, June 30. And uh, then an effort to sort of to try to look to the next period uh, in, in Syria, uh, while we have to work hard in order to put the current crisis uh, to, uh, to an end, uh, in our view, is uh, counterproductive. And that's why we are not going to be supporting the resolution which will be voted on uh, tomorrow in the General Assembly. Thank you very much.